So areas of plane figures is the new topic which we are going to discuss in this session. So as we have seen so many figures in the previous session, a four-sided closed figures like we have seen the quadrilateral, we have seen the rhombus, we have seen the trapezium, we have seen the rectangle, the square, the kite. So there are different three-sided figures also which have been discussed like triangle, right angle triangle, isosceles triangle. So these are all the areas or the plane figures for which, which are called the two-dimensional plane figures for which we need to find areas. So let's see how an area can be calculated for each of the quadrilateral or rhombus etc. for the plane figures. So initially I'm going to start with a trapezium. So let's start with area of a trapezium. But before this, we're going to just recap with the discussion on what exactly is a trapezium. So to recap with trapezium, this is to start with area of trapezium. We all know that a trapezium is a four-sided closed figure where one of the pair of sides are parallel. So one pair of sides is parallel then that kind of a four-sided closed figure or a quadrilateral is called a trapezium. So let's take a trapezium with the basic definition. So in this case this is a trapezium because I consider these two sides to be one pair which is parallel. The other two sides are not equal nor they are parallel. So this kind of a four-sided closed figure is a trapezium. So let me take a trapezium of this with my suitable dimensions. Say this I take it as h. This is h. This entirely I take it as a and this I take it as b. Then if this is height then this dimension I take it as C and this particular dimension I take it as D. So with these dimensions I would like to construct the area of this parallelogram which is nothing but I am going to calculate using few of the mathematical properties. This is the height. This is the height. So as you can see this trapezium if I divide this into three different regions I find that there is one rectangle out here, there is one right angle triangle on the left and there is another right angle triangle which is on the right. So at this trapezium is obtained by joining two right angle triangles and one rectangle together in this form. So when I find the area of this right angle triangle and this right angle triangle and area of this rectangle and just add them then indirectly I get the area of the entire trapezium. So let's try to break it up and then find area of each of the regions which is 1, 2 and 3. So region 1 is R1, region 2 is R2 and this region is R3. So we will find the area of each of the regions R1, R2 and R3. So when I come to the region R1, I identify that R1 is a right angle triangle triangle. So let me take that triangle separately out here. So this is the right angle triangle which I have taken here with this being 90 and this dimension is the height of the trapezium which is h out in this right angle triangle and this is c. So I am going to construct the area of this triangle using the basic formula of area of a triangle. So let's start with the region R1 which is a right angle triangle with the following dimensions where the height is h and one of the side adjacent side to the angle right angle is given to be C. So as we all know that area of a right angle triangle is half into base into height. Therefore for this I get area of R1 is nothing but half into base into height. So this is CH by 2. So I get this to be CH by 2 because we have the area of right angle triangle as half into base which is C and the height which is h. So half into base into height is half into c into h that is ch by 2. So similarly I take the region R2 and find the respective area. Now in this case I identify that the region R2 is a rectangle and let's see what are the dimensions for this rectangle. So this is a rectangle in which 
my base is B because when this is B and these two are parallel so obviously this also is with the same dimension as that of B so this also is B my length is B and my width is H because this acts as the height of the trapezium so my base is B or the length of the rectangle is B and my width of the rectangle is H therefore we know that area of a rectangle is length into width therefore I get B into H so therefore area of <coughs> region R2 is area of rectangle which is nothing but base into height length into width which is BH so I get this as BH now similarly let's go to the region R3 so for the region R3 is clearly a right angle triangle with the dimensions D and H. So let's draw a right angle triangle independently for the region R3. So I get this region to be a right angled triangle where this is the right angle and my base here is D and my H is the height of the original trapezium which also is the height of this right angle triangle. Now as we know that this is a right angle triangle its area would obviously be half into base into height as in case of region R1 as similar as R1. Therefore to find area of region R3 is nothing but finding area of triangle right angle triangle which is nothing but using the formula half into base into height. Your base is D and the height is H therefore the formula substitutes into half into D into H which is nothing but dh by 2. So I have got three different regions where area of region R1 is ch by 2 and my area of region R2 which is bh and my area of region R3 which is dh by 2. Now to find the area of the entire trapezium as given here it is nothing but finding the areas of the regions R1, R2 and R3 and just summing up. So we have already found area of region R1 which is ch by 2 and area of region R2 was BH and area of region R3 is DH by 2. So therefore area of trapezium in this case is area of region R1 plus R2 plus R3. So let's substitute the values of areas of region R1, R2 and R3 as calculated and then find indirectly the area of the entire trapezium. So therefore we have area of region R1 which is already calculated as CH over 2. So just I have here CH over 2. Then the area of the region R2 which is calculated as BH and then <coughs> the area of the region R3 which is calculated as DH over 2. So this is the area which has been calculated for each of the regions and then adding up all three areas is nothing but forms area of the entire trapezium which is required to be found out. So let's take the LCM then I get this to be CH plus 2BH plus DH 1 over 2. <coughs> so the LCM of each of the cases gives me 2 as the LCM and then the numerators become CH plus 2BH plus DH. So after the LCM, I'll try to take all possible terms which can be taken common out of all the three terms. Therefore, I identify that H is existing in each of the term so that it can be taken common overall, taken out of the bracket. So therefore, I take this H outside the bracket and then the remaining terms are written inside the bracket that is C plus 2B plus D. So this is how I obtain the terms inside the bracket once H is taken out. Then what I do is I split this 2B into B plus B because I need to identify A by splitting B into two different terms. So taking 2B as B plus B, let's see how A is generated from that. <coughs> 